How to Reset the Jenkins Admin Password In many cases, the Jenkins controller authentication will be tied into LDAP, Active Directory, or maybe even SAML. However, some Jenkins installations still use the Jenkins internal user database. Let's imagine for a moment that you forget the password for the user that you use to administrate your Jenkins instance. How do you go about resetting that password? In this video, we're going to go through that process. So here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.375.2. Now at this point, I know my user ID. I know the user ID is admin, but I've forgotten what my password is. So when I try to log in, I get the message, invalid username or password. So how do we go about resetting that password to a known value? Well, what we're gonna do is we are going to SSH into my controller. Now, if you have your controller installed on Windows, the process is gonna be similar, but instead of SSHing in, you'll RDP in. So at this point, I have SSHed in to my Jenkins controller. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to stop my Jenkins process. So I'm gonna say system CTL stop Jenkins. Next up, I need to make a change to one of the files inside of Jenkins Home. So in my case, my Jenkins Home directory is var lib Jenkins, and the file I'm gonna make a change to is config.xml. And the one change I need to make is I am going to change use security true to use security false. Now, it would probably be best to back up this file before making any changes to it, but since I know that the only change I'm making is just this one attribute, I'm okay making the change live. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this file. So let's go ahead now and let's restart the Jenkins process. So instead of stop, I'm just gonna say start. Now that it's started back up, let's go back over to our browser. I'm gonna clear out this login error from my URL. And when I hit return on my Jenkins URL, it's going to take me right into my controller. Notice I have not logged in. Notice there's no username up in the upper right hand corner. At this point, the Jenkins controller is completely unsecured. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and re-enable the authentication. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Configure Global Security. And we're going to change our security realm from None because that's what happened when we said Use Security False. I want to change that to Jenkins own user database. I'm going to also make sure that the checkbox for allow users to sign up is also unchecked. Now from an authorization standpoint, I'm gonna leave anyone can do anything at this point. We'll revisit that in a few moments. Let's go ahead and click on save. Now you'll notice that we have a login up here in the upper right hand corner, but I'm still currently in as the user that wasn't even defined because we turned all the security off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna to go to people, and go to the user that I want to go ahead and change the password for. In this case, that's admin. I'll go to configure and then go down to password. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and set my password to the known value now that I want it to be. I'll click on save, but I'm still not finished yet. And the reason why is you'll notice that I've changed the password. I can click on login and click on my admin and type in the password that I just set and it takes me right back there. It shows that I'm admin, but if I was to open up a new window and go back to the Jenkins 8080 again, notice that I still see everything within my controller. I can still get to manage Jenkins. So even though I've set the user, I've logged in, I still have not locked the controller back down. So what I'm going to do as I'm logged in as admin right now, I'm going to click on manage Jenkins, go back to configure global security and go back to the field that we ignored initially. So we set the security realm, we changed our password, but now we need to set our authorization from anyone can do anything to, at least in this case, logged in users can do anything. And then I'm also going to go ahead and uncheck allow anonymous read access. I'll go ahead and click on save. I'll log out. And if I try to go back just to Jenkins 8080 again, I'm prompted for the login screen. I'll log in as that user. I'll go ahead and test my private window again. I'll say Jenkins 8080. And right now I'm being prompted again for a login screen. So at this point, I was successfully able to disable security on the controller, change the password, and then turn on authorization again. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. 
click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.